Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will be seeing how to create a database and a table in the database in MySQL using XAM server. So let's first start with a XAM server. To start with a XAM server, first we need to start a XAM control panel. In XAM control panel, first we need to start a Apache server. Then we will be starting with MySQL server. Okay, now the stated status detected is running. So we can click on this admin button to start PHP MyAdmin. So in this PHP MyAdmin what we can do we can create a new database and in the database we will be creating the tables to create a database what we need to do is that we are having two options to create a database first is that we will be clicking on this new option which is provided over here and the next one is what we will be clicking on this database option which is provided in this particular bar so we'll click on this new button. Okay. So after create clicking on that new section, you will be provided with this particular screen on the right hand side. And over here, what we need to do is that we have to mention the database name. So we will say that sample database. So in sample, we will say create. It will create a database so after creating a database as you know that database is made up of number of tables we need to specify the tables in a database so to specify the tables in the database we are being provided with this particular option where we will be mentioning the name of a table say demo demo is the name of a table and we will be mentioning the column numbers so we will say that three numbers and we will say create okay on cre uh, clicking the create button you will be provided with this interface and using this interface what we can do we can mention the columns in the table with its type so while creating the table always uh, remember that the first field in a table should be primary key and it should be auto increment so what we will do suppose that we are saying id id will be the primary key it will be in it will be of type integer only and what we need to do is, over here is that we have to click on this AI checkbox. So AI checkbox means that it is auto increment facility which has been provided to that particular field and uh, it will be a primary key. It will be a primary key. The so next one will be suppose that name is the second column that we are adding and I am saying that it is of type text. Then email, I'll say that will be the uh, third column in the table and I will say that its type is also text. So I have created a fields in the table and after creating the fields in the table, what we will do, we will click on this save button which has been provided over here. Suppose that if you want any field to be kept null, like uh, we want that uh, while entering the data the email can be kept null so what we will do we will click on this particular checkbox which has been provided over here the so null value will also be allowed in this email field but right now i will not keep any field as null so i'll for saving the table schema i will click on this save button on clicking the save button what we can see is that in this database on our left hand side 
all the available database will be displayed so sample is the first database that we have created over here and in sample we are having a demo table if you want to create more tables that we created with this new option which has been provided over here or as you can see that at below of this particular section we are being provided with a create new table option over here also we can specify the table name the number of columns and we can click on this create button to create the tables in this particular da uh, database so as you can see that a table is been listed over here with the facility like browse structure browse to see the data in that particular table structure to change the structure or any field in that search to search the value insert to insert a value empty truncate the value and a drop is the option that is been provided to drop the table so suppose that if i want to click this table and want to make changes in this particular table we will be provided with this particular option so what we can do is that i want to change the structure of it so i will click on this structure button uh, structure tab which is been provided to us and as you can see that uh, we are being provided with all the fields of the table so if you want to change the structure of any field that can be changed by clicking on this change button okay then we are being provided with this sql facility so some are comfortable writing the query and uh, doing the changes in the table so they can use this particular gui and using this gui what they can do they can write down the query with the facility which is been provided like uh, we want to write down select query then insert query then you can see all the fields that are been provided then uh, we can click on this value section to put on the values any changes any fields that you need to add subtract that can be done from this particular right hand side section so easily you can write down the query with a easy interface and you can execute the query to get the appropriate result or to insert the data we are also be provided with this okay we are also being provided with this search option to search for a specific uh, data based on the fields that are being provided in a table like uh, in the table we have only three fields so it is being provided over here and we can specify the operator that we need to use and the value that we need to search on the right hand side and we'll say go and after saying go the appropriate result will be displayed to us then we are having a gui based insert facility over here so using that what we can do we can insert the data as we have made id as auto increment so there is no need to put a value in this id only is that we need to place the value in this name and email section so we'll say demo name email id we'll say that demo at the rate gmail.com and we'll click on this go button on clicking go we can see that the one row is been inserted so on clicking this browse tab we can see that the first row is been inserted with a value demo and demo at the rate gmail.com in a similar fashion we can insert n number of rows in a table but it will be a, a data which will be inserted through a database but if you want to insert a data through an application then we need to create we need to connect this database with the application so the application can be anything php uh, android application uh, then uh, anything like uh, uh, java application any application software we can use in a front end and back end will be our database suppose that if we need to export the data suppose that uh, we have created a database over here and the same database we need to shift it to our server so what we need to do is that we need to copy down the schema of the table as well as database that can be done with this export option 
So on clicking this particular export, the SQL, SQL file will be created and that SQL file can be imported to some other location where we want the same schema of a database and we will be uh, we will be using the same schema over there so similarly suppose that some another sql file is there with some another schema of a table and all is been provided to us that can be imported with this import option by choosing the file from this particular option has to be an sql file and we will say import over here so that file will be imported over here. okay then privileges suppose that to a database if you want to give some privileges like uh, you want to specify the username uh, password that you want to apply to a database that same has to be uh, mentioned while we are mentioned creating a connection from a application to this particular database default we are having a root as a user and a password as blank password so that will be the default password that we need to use to get a application connected with the php my admin database next is the operations that we are being provided to us like uh, uh, we need to adjust the privileges then table option that rename uh, we can rename the table, comment the table, then uh, we can set the auto increment value over here, then uh, copy the table, we can copy down the table, delete the data, uh, table, truncate the table, uh, truncate the table, we can drop down or uh, drop the table. So, multiple options have been provided to us over here. I hope this video was very helpful for you. Uh, using the help of this video, you can create your first database in PHP My Admin, and in that database, you can create a table also. For more such video, stay connected with us. Thank you.